All right, ladies and gentlemen, now we're on the wiring phase. This is the wire that I bought, 12 gauge, all right, hot, negative, and ground, 600 volts. All right, I went on and stripped everything. All right, and what I'm gonna do now is hook it up of course, per the instruction listed here. So let's get that started. Give you an idea of what this looks like. As you notice, I've turned off all the power to the entire upstairs of my house. And double checking to make sure, of course, I'm here after. Now that you have everything wired, got your ground back here. Okay. Alright. Got your white on white. Got your black from the power. Going to one side of the switch. And then the black from the switch going up to your motor. Alright. Through your metal pipe here. Or rather I should say conduit. So, now that that's done, next thing you need to do, start running your wire, or rather, maybe I should say, you might want to go on and mount your box to take the tension off of this conduit. Alright, I've now gone on and replaced the cover of the box. Got my two screws in there. I'm going to be posting this right on up there. Alright, I've now mounted the switch, thermostat, on or after, and we are good as far as this side is concerned. Got our fan securely installed, got all the things tightened, screws, nuts, bolts, etc. Got our good box, got our good air seal now. Time to run this wire. All right, folks, what I've done is I've run my wire from my fan way over there. It's barely discernible. All right, up here, I'm gonna go into this former light box. I'm gonna patch into this hot wire here. All right, these two going into here, running it through the back. All right, you have little breakouts in here, so go on and pop one out as I already have. Going to run your wire through there. Then using your wire nuts, you're going to go on and connect these. And you're also going to throw in another one in there. And that third one is going to run off All right, to a switch up here that I'm going to have for Mr. Light that I detached. All right, and another little piece of my yellow wire. All right will be in here as well or again the switch that will be right here so what I'm gonna do now that I've ran this in here I'm gonna go on and put my switch box right here second thought folks I just changed my mind at the last minute and I realized all that wiring is really unnecessary. So, what I'll just have is just this light behind here. I just wired all right, my fan into it. And, of course, spliced the light bulb in as well, the light in as well. So, that switch that's down there will control the both of them. And, just when I don't want light, just unplug it or rather unscrew it. Last but not least, folks, right before I'm going to turn the power on, I went on and turned the thermostat all the way down to 50 to make sure that it comes on. So, you want to spin it one time, make sure nothing's in the way. Everything is clear. All right. And let's go 
Restore the power and let's see what happens. I decided that I would change the location of this switch. And what I did was I put it where I had to splice together the 115 foot section that comes from the fan, which then goes over to where we pulled power from, which is that light post up there. All right, so in case some of you are wondering what that kind of wiring job looks like. All right, I've got my ground wire here. It's of course attached to the ground using a green plug, which has a push out so that you can pull the rest of the ground wire through and attach it. All right, very important thing. All right, up top here, kind of hard to see at this angle. All right. I have, all right, my positive with the power here and here split off. And down below, I've got my black or my negative, all right, using wire nuts, put them together. And that's my wiring job on my switch. All right, once you put that switch in, you put your cover plate on and you have a nice professional looking, all right, switch going here. You wanna go in and make sure you cut it off so that when you actually, all right, flick that switch, or rather restore power, doesn't come automatically on without you up here to see what happens and make sure you don't see any sparks, that kind of thing, wires, aren't getting hot unduly etc 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 so folks with that with the wiring part we are now complete all right we're about to go on and flick the switch of destiny if everything is right the light should cut on and so should the fan so let's listen up and take a look Oh yeah, the light did thankfully come on, and I don't know if you can hear it, but I hear some, hear some nice fan motor going. Double check, holding that cord, seeing if it's hot and it's not, that's good. Coming over here, nice. Nice movement, certainly going on. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a beautiful thing. One last thing that you'll want to do is go on and double check that your thermostat works by adjusting the temperature below the existing temperature in your attic. Fan should cut on as it just did. And once you go to whatever your desired temperature setting is, the fan should stop as it is. So, again, you had a wonderful, successful installation. Alright, what I'm doing is being absolutely quiet once I be quiet. So you can hear the amount of noise that the fan makes on the room that is directly below it. like to thank you for checking things out here in the Variety Tube channel. We've just hooked up a temperature controlled gable fan successfully. This is Charles Edgar Hampton. Sorry if you're getting the light. Again, God bless. Be peaceful. May your home, your body, your mind, your soul your family and all that is a part of you be well and blessed peace